Hey guys, today I thought I'd share with you uh, my new additions to my military collection. Uh, it's been about three months since I've made one of these videos. And uh, honestly, I haven't picked up just a whole lot. Uh, you know, I'm always out there looking for things, but you know, I just haven't really come across uh, really good deals and stuff like I... Uh, like I've wanted to, like I normally do, but I thought I'd go ahead and share with you, you know, what I've picked up here recently. And uh, this is the majority of it. There might be one or two items that I haven't thought of, you know, to bring out and show you. Maybe if I remember them, I'll put on the next uh, video. But anyways, um, like I said, I got kind of a, a variety of, you know, of items here on the table to share with you. Um, I'm really excited. There's some really neat pieces here. And uh, I've been looking forward to doing this video. It's been about 10 days since I've made a video. And I apologize about that. But like the last four or five days, I felt like crap. Uh, here where I'm at, the weather is flip-flopping, snow and hot weather. Then it's cold and all this crazy weather messes me up. But I'm feeling better now. And so I'm able to start getting back on track with these videos. But anyways, uh, I'm going to bring you in closer and show you more of what I got. Okay, so... Here is what I've picked up recently. Like I said, kind of a, a wide variety of items here. I'm excited to share with you today. And um, I'll start right here at the top. You see I've got three books and a couple DVDs. Uh, these books here I picked up at the Goodwill Bookstore uh, near me, which I go there pretty often and get a lot of books. And a lot of times I don't include the books in my, my new editions videos, but I'm going to start doing that. Um, I'll show you this one here first. Uh, for those of you that are familiar, you know, with the Bataan Death March, this is a must-have book. If you want to learn more about, you know, what the prisoners who were on the march and what they went through, get this book. It's called Hell's Guest, and it's by uh, Colonel Glenn Fraser. He was one of the soldiers who survived the Bataan Death March. And if you've seen the documentary The War by Ken Burns, he's actually featured on there. I just finished reading this book a couple weeks ago. It is awesome. Definitely pick up this book. And what's really cool is I got this book for uh, $3 at Goodwill. And take a look at this. I always look for this. This book is autographed by Colonel Glenn Frazier. He did it on January 9th, 2010, so a little over eight years ago. So that he, you know, he personalized it to the person who obviously owned this book originally. But I thought that was cool. It's an autographed book by the soldier, by Glenn Frazier. That's him right there. Great book. Get this book. It's a must read. I got this right here, 11 Days in December. This basically talks about, you know, the beginning of the Battle of the Bulge in December of 44. Uh, I'm about a third of the way done with it. It's a pretty good book. If you want to learn more about the Battle of the Bulge, pick this up. Got this at Goodwill, also $3. And then I also got this Goodwill book by Bill Malden. A lot of you guys know he's a famous cartoonist from World War II. He was an actor also. And um, it's just got some of his, you know, his different uh, sketches in here. And uh, it's kind of a story put together here. I haven't read it yet, but this is going to be one of the upcoming books I do read. Another $3 book. Got a couple DVDs here. First one is Dunkirk, which most of you guys, I'm sure, have already seen it or and probably even own it. But I got to be honest, guys. You know, I, I honestly, I saw it in movie theaters the first day, and I was very unhappy with it. Now, I know there's a lot of different opinions out there. You know, this is just mine. You don't have to agree with it, you know. But I just thought it was so confusing going back and forth, you know. It was just so confusing, uh, confusing. And I think I thought they could have done a better job with showing, you know, chaos on the beach instead of just a bunch of people standing there in a line. You know, I just don't think they depicted that well. Uh, like I said, just my opinion. And then, you know, if you've seen it, you know, at the end, there's an airplane out of gas that flies forever. And that's just, just, it was just silly to me. But I got it. I went ahead and bought it. And, you know, I watched again. And I actually, I did like it a little bit better the second time. But honestly, um, it's just not exactly what I'd hoped it was going to be. But like I said, it's just my opinion. Uh, it's not an awful movie, but I didn't think it was great. So um, when it got that. But this right here is an older movie. This movie called Went the Day Well. It's a British movie, came out in 1942, so the war was going on, and uh, basically a bunch of German paratroopers take over this town, uh, and the, what happens is basically the civilians end up fighting off the German paratroopers and everything. It's got a lot of infield rifles and stuff in there, and honestly, it's somewhat kind of graphic, I guess, for 1942, you know, so if you like older stuff, pick up Went the Day Well. I got it for about seven bucks, I think, on eBay. 
Moving on here, I finally, I've had my M1 Grand over four years, and I've been looking and searching for a decently priced original sling, and I got one here. It's an original M1 Grand sling. I was really excited to get this. Um, I made an offer on eBay um, of, uh, it was $30 with free shipping, and they accepted it. It was originally like $45 in free shipping, but, you know, best offer. So, And overall, it's in really get, great shape for its age. Um, I couldn't find a date on it, but it's probably, I guess, from the, from the 40s it could you know be earlier than that but really excited to finally get that and put it on my grand moving on here i've got this world war ii mccord helmet it's a front seam swivel bell and um it's got a, a very obvious uh, heat stamp here it's uh 1016 and there's kind of a faint letter c after the six um and so this would date you know give or take somewhere around maybe september or october of 1944 um, I got this for shipping everything. It was $26, which isn't that bad. Um, but what I did notice here is, if you can see it right in there, there's some red paint. And I'm trying to determine if it's on top or if it's underneath. But it's kind of hard to show it on the video. But there's some red paint under there, some specks. And I'm kind of curious about possibly doing a paint removal on it and seeing what might be under there. Not bad for $26. This right here, uh, World War II Canteen, dated 1943. I picked this up at an antique store for $5, which I thought, you know, can't pass up a $5 canteen, but it does have damage to it. Someone has cut off part of the, you know, the, the mouth of it or whatever. They've cut it off for whatever reason, but uh, still a good find for $5. You know, I'm, ne I'm never going to pass up a $5 canteen. Now, what's really awesome is this canteen and cover set right here. I got this off eBay um, for, let's see, shipping and everything. It was $21. It's a named canteen cover. Um, see the canteen right here? The cover, I'm sorry, dated 1917. Unfortunately, one of the snaps, which is actually down in here, came off. And so I'm going to try to get my wife to stitch it back on there or somehow get it reattached. But you see it's marked here. It's kind of hard to see. There's a 77 US and it looks like a 124. Which the cover's kind of beat up. But Frank J. Morton, which is a, a named canteen cover. Pretty cool there. And this is a 1918 canteen that came with it. And also what the eBay seller did was they gave me information about the soldier. Frank J. Morton, he was a corporal. Got a serial number. He was Company D of the 409th Telegraph Battalion. Um, he was... Overseas, it looks like from June 10th, 1918 to April 14th, 1919. He was born March 15th, 1889 in Pennsylvania. He served three years in the 14th Cavalry prior to World War One. So that's really awesome history right there with this canteen. Uh, I wish, that, like I said, the cover was in a little better shape, but not bad for $21 right there. I think that was a good find, a good ad. Moving on here, I've got this 1918 uh, World War I 1911 holster. But honestly, guys, this thing is in rough shape. The leather's getting hard, you know, and it definitely probably can't be used. Um, see, it's coming loose. I thought about having my wife try to stitch it or something, but, like, I, you know, I've already got one good one. But um, this really just be a display piece. I got it for shipping and everything $17 off eBay. See, it's dated right there, 1918. But for 17 bucks, you know, shipping and everything, that's not a bad price, even though it's in kind of rough shape. It'd be a good display piece. Moving on here, I've got this World War II era uh, marine dress blues. It, the seller on eBay uh, thought it might be, you know, prior to World War I, maybe from the, I mean World War II, I'm sorry, maybe from um, the 30s or something. Um, it does have some information in here. Bear with me just a second. I know the camera works not the best, but... It's got a name in here, but it's hard to read. Like, I can't even read what it says, but it's got some scratched information in it. The soldier's name was H.E. Hugh Hukachik or something. I have no idea, but anyways, uh, I believe it's, you know, World War II uh, era. It could be, you know, a little bit older than World War II. could be 30s, I guess, but um, uh, all the buttons are there. Unfortunately, you know, the collar discs are gone. There's no patches or anything, but... You know, I don't think I did too bad. Uh, I got it for shipping and everything. It was 20 bucks on eBay. So for 20 bucks for an old marine dress blue jacket, I think that's still a pretty good deal. Normally I like, you know, more characteristic with them, but I think I did good. 
moving on here, uh, I got this really cool book here from fellow YouTuber uh, and a friend of mine named Philip Merritt. Um, he sent me this. Uh, basically, it's like a late Christmas gift. It's U.S. Small Arms in World War II. And basically, there's different sections in this book for, you know, M1 Garand, um, M1 Carbine, uh, Thompson Rifle, 1911, you know, Johnson Rifle, and just different pictures. A lot of pictures I've never seen before of World War II. So this was a very great addition to my book collection. I appreciate that a lot. And Philip also sent me this miscellaneous bag here of uh, helmet liner parts. Got couple chin straps in there sweatband and a few other odds and ends right there so i definitely appreciate that thank you philip and lastly i got this right here and i have no idea what this thing is my dad gave me this for free he got it for a quarter at an antique store but it's dated uh 1981 if i'm not mistaken there's an 81 and there's a 2008 but i think it's 81 uh, some kind of deconnect decant contamination kit if i can pronounce it right so some kind of Let's see if I can open it. Sanitation wipes or something would fit down in there. I, I mean, I'm not really good at stuff like this, so if some of you guys can let me know. You know, like I said, I think it's from the 80s, I guess, but I just have no idea what this thing is. Just some kind of a sanitation thing, it says. So let me know what this is if you don't mind. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm glad I can finally make a video. I can finally breathe again and not all stopped up and jacked up. But, um, like I said, I think there's one or two more items I could have included in this video, but I, I'm just now thinking of them. I should have grabbed them, but I'll include them maybe in another video. But anyways, this is my new additions. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate you all a lot. I'm getting close to a 1,000 subscribers. I'm really hoping to get there in the next, you know, maybe two, three weeks or so. That would be awesome. That's a great milestone for me. Um, and I just appreciate you guys, all you do to help support my channel and promote me and everything. But anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.